Hey guys, I'm so happy to finally share the recipe for the best creamy pasta, aka mac and cheese. This is a whole other level of food. This is better than anything I've ever tasted before. So let's dive right into the cheese. For the sauce, you will need one small onion, two medium sized potatoes and two medium sized carrots, as well as two cloves of garlic. If you fancy garlic, you can use more than that, but I was fine with two. Then you want to peel your potatoes and chop your carrot into bite-sized chunks. The smaller you chop the veggies, the faster they will cook, obviously. Peel the garlic and chop it roughly. Make sure that the potato is kind of smaller than the carrot chunks, that way they will cook equally. Add the colorful veggie mix into a bigger pot. Get it all in there, give it a good shake or don't. And then cover it with enough water so that it's covered and cook the veggies for about 15 to 20 minutes until they are fork tender and really soft. They should be really soft and cooked almost like a baby food consistency. Yeah, so that will just blend easier. Then use pasta of your choice and cook this. Make this more healthy and use lentil pasta or whole spelled pasta like I did here. But yeah, just make sure the veggies are really soft. Then to a blender or a high speed food processor, you wanna add one cup of cashews. I soaked mine overnight. That will make it just way easier to blend. But you can also just use raw cashews and put all the hot veggie mix on top. Congratulations if you have a bigger food processor than I do, cause that way you will get it all in. I didn't, but I squeezed it in. So that worked for me. Also use half a veggie cube, chili flakes, smoked paprika. That's gonna give it that smoky, cheesy, kind of like flavor. Sweet paprika powder, curry spice, and half a tablespoon of mustard. If you love mustard, add more, feel free. Then some tomato paste and a good amount of salt. As well as the most important ingredient here, which is around half a cup of nutritional yeast or three fourths of a cup if you live for it. Then just a little bit of plant milk, lemon juice, and then you wanna blend that all up until you get the cheesiest, best, flavorful cheese sauce that has ever lived. I also had a nice footage where I poured the cheese sauce on top of the pasta, but I lost it or I didn't even film it. But yeah, then you just want to pour that all over the pasta. Feel free to sprinkle some vegan cheese on top. I like this a lot, so yeah. But I did this multiple times without the cheese and it is really good either way. And that's it. I hope you make this recipe. I can't tell you how much I want this right now. This is 100% going to blow your mind. No questions asked. Hope I'll see you very soon. Bye. Don't overthink things, baby.